guys welcome back to our channel and today we're going to be talking about battery protections i'm just going to share with you a story of what happened to me not long ago and uh, i managed to save one of my lipos on a crash because of a protection well a couple of months ago i started flying bottom mount quads and if you don't know what's a bottom mount quad it's basically it's a frame where you mount the lipos at the bottom of the quad and I gave it a try after a few attempts, um, fail attempts. So I decided to give it a try again and, uh, and I really liked it actually. And I've been flying bottom mount quads for a while now. And I kind of enjoy the way it handles the, 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 the turns and, and the way it flies in general. Uh, I'm not gonna go into a discussion of what, what is best, if it's bottom, or if it's top mount, because I believe it's also it's a personal option for all pilots, regardless of uh, you know facts and etc. I just believe that um, you just fly whatever you prefer, you feel like, and what's best for you. Anyways, this uh, this tip I'm gonna give it to you guys now. It works for both bottom and top mount uh, frames, and. Um, well, back to where I was talking, um, I had a hard crash. I was diving some poles um, in one of the, 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 the flying areas of, I usually fly around here at my place. And uh, I was getting closer and closer to the poles. Um, as my confidence level increases, I, I just keeps getting closer and diving deeper and etc. And I actually hit the pole in one of my dives and my quadcopter totally lost control, start spinning, and it came down straight away from, from a super high pole, I would say probably 30 or 40 meters, hard for me to say, because it was very high. And of course, it crashed. And then when I went to check my quadcopter, um, three motors, they were totally out, they were broken, they were out all over the place and my frame had a little cracks and of course my battery was somewhere else i had to look for it i found it and the battery protection also was with the battery and this is the pack right here and then the first thing that came in my mind is my battery is dead because i already had crashes before where i just blow my literally blow my my, my light was away they were just knocked out they were just bended and dented and the holes and, and they wouldn't charge anymore so if you have a look at this pack it's pretty it suffered the, the, the it suffered the crash but it's alive and uh, it charges and i'm still flying it after a couple of charges and it's still going strong i'm going to show you here that is alive yeah so there you go 16.6 .6, all cells charging everything works and if i didn't have this battery protection my lipo would have been retired already and this these are all new packs yeah so when you mount this in your quad okay let me get a quad here for you guys to see so basically what you do is you put it Right at the bottom, right? Because it's a bottom mount. So it's gonna go this way. Cool, let's just put it here so you guys understand. So I got my pigtail here, and I put my pigtail to the other side, and I put it in here, and then I will plug my battery right here, right? So I'll just fix it for you guys to see how I do it. Okay, and this is it. You're good to go right there so i even customized mine i put some pads here at the bottom so i'm just put up here so let's see so when i fly all right so when i fly i have some nice pads to absorb a little bit of the impact when i land i'm not a perfect lander so sometimes when i land i tend to you know land hard and these protections will work for me. 
Okay, one more thing I would do here is uh, put a rubber tape just to keep this uh, you know, balance charger uh, wire safe. And as you can see, I can plug in my battery here. And it's totally clean, yeah? I'm ready to go, I'm ready to fly. Okay, so I actually have one pack here and I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys how it comes, how it looks when you when you purchase it when you purchase it. Okay, this is how it looks like. This pack. I'm gonna unpack for you guys right now. Okay, you just open here. And what you get inside is the battery protection. You got a stripe for your batteries. And you have a pad, so you can put it at the bottom of the quad, on the top of the quad, and then to protect, this reduce a little bit of the, of the impact and keep it safe, right? Okay, and last but not least, let's check how much this is gonna add on your quads. Okay, so I've got here, measure, zero, and you have extra 25 grams, okay? But then again, like I said, if you're flying a quad where you have, um, you know, 2306 motors and you have some expensive parts and you have some good light posts that you want to protect, then it would be worth trading 25 grams of weight just to have a little extra protection in case anything happen okay so i'm going to put a link on the description of uh, where you can get these uh, protections they are not expensive they are really really cheap and they are very durable the aluminium is super strong and will resist really really hard impacts i can assure to you because i had a really bad crash and this thing survived and protects my my lipo as well so that's it guys um happy flying all the best and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram and also to join the group RC Deals and Offers on Facebook for deals like this and reviews will be in our YouTube channel. Thank you and till next time.